already up there. It is, and I'm going to talk about snow in one second. Before I do that, I want to give us a little perspective on a story we showed you earlier about the Sacramento Weir opening for the first time in years. Let me show you where this is and how it works. So you can take a look at Sacramento here on the grid. You can see here's downtown, here's West Sac. Let's come in for a close-up look, and one of the most important things about Sacramento, we're right on the river. There's the Sacramento River going right through town. Let's follow this a little bit higher up, because oftentimes in the big rain events, we can't let all the water in the Sacramento River keep flowing down right by the town. Otherwise, we could run the risk of having that overflow the levees. So just up river from town, right here, let's go in for a closer look at that, where that flag is. This is where the Sacramento Weir is. What's a weir? Let's come in for another close-up look. You'll see there are a series of gates here. When they think the river's going to get too high, just up river of town, this is where Rena's standing now. She'll be live coming up a little bit later. They open these gates so that instead of having the river keep going that way and then flowing right into Sacramento, it goes out this way. Let's show you where it goes. So a wider view on this shows you this long floodplain, which then goes out into the Yolo Bypass, which will, another wider view on that will show us open fields out here. And you know this. The last stop will show you why you know this. I-80 goes right through it. Here's West Sac. Here's Davis. You're on a causeway when you drive from West Sac to Davis because you need to be on an elevated roadway to get over what is a floodplain, and it is an engineered floodplain specifically for situations like this. Okay, that's the story on the weir. The snow is the other item I wanted to talk to you about in terms of what's gonna happen today. While it may not rain much in the valley today, and it likely won't, it'll keep snowing in the mountains. We're gonna get a foot of additional snow in the Sierra, and at respectable snow levels, the snow is gonna be down to about the 5,000 foot level for much of today. It was at 9,000 feet and above yesterday. Today, it's back down to 5,000 feet, and it'll keep snowing in the Sierra over the next few days with snow levels moderating between about 4,000 and 5,500 feet. So very good news. We're going to get that snow back. I know we rained on a lot of it yesterday, but for the next three days, we're going to get a decent amount of snow in the Sierra. And as far as the rain in the valley goes, don't count on much of anything today but be ready for tomorrow because there's an inch and a half coming tomorrow. Now, we might get a stray shower today. We can't rule out the possibility for an isolated, short-lived shower today. But once we get past sunset, that's when the next storm arrives. So the rain begins tonight after sunset and then really gets going throughout the day tomorrow. I've got an inch and a half in the forecast for tomorrow. That's like in between Saturday and Sunday's total. So it'll be reminiscent of the weekend, but not quite as bad. All right, guys, I'll see you with more in the 8 o'clock hour. Thanks, Dan. 752.